Hi dear students, now today I am going to teach you about ecosystem and its component. It is a very simple and interesting topic of biology. Okay, but before starting the video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Now before knowing what is ecosystem, first let us know what is an environment. The word environment means surrounding. It refers to a variety of living and non-living things. Right, for example, animals, plants, and all the non-living things like mountains, like all these things constitute air, water, soil, plants, animal, microorganism. It, they all make up the environment. Okay. In fact, everything that surrounds and affects our life of an organism forms the environment. For example, a lion in the forest is the example of organism in an environment. Forest has innumerable other things too. For, for example, insects like other animals and plants. They also have non-living things such as air, water, soil and minerals. There is, there is also a cultural component in the environment which includes the impact of human activity. So all these activity of an organism, what is, does it constitute? It constitutes the environment. Now what is an ecosystem then? All living things, plant, animal and microorganism need food and other material from the surrounding. The life of an organism is thus affected by living and non-living component. All the living organisms in a given area that interact with each other as well as with non-living components of the environment such as air, water, soil and sunlight makes the ecosystem, right? So the living as well as the non-living component which interact with each other forms the ecosystem. So you can see plant, human being, animals, they all are birds and everything forms the ecosystem. Now what does ecosystem mean? Eco means environment, system it means a group or a part that works together to, as a unit. An ecosystem is a system which is made up of environment and all the living things that live there. All living things have to be able to meet their basic need, right? For example, as a human being, what do you know we need? We need food. Animals also need food. Plants need oxygen, right? So where the, uh, the plant get oxygen, they get from the environment, right? Okay, understood the meaning of environment? Now, now the ecosystem is basically made up of two components, the biotic component and the abiotic component. The biotic component comprises of producer, consumer and decomposer and the consumer are of three types, primary consumer, secondary consumer and the tertiary consumer. Whereas the abiotic component, abiotic means non-living component, whereas biotic, bio is the, but the term bio means life. So the living component are in biotic component and the non-living component are in the abiotic component. Now the abiotic component comprises of air, water, wind, soil, rainfall and temperature. Now they are also equally important, right? We cannot live without air, we cannot live without water, wind or soil or temperature or the rainfall. So both the components are interdependent. They both depend on each other, right? Producer. Now we'll be taking up the biotic component in this video. Now producer are the plants. Plant get their food and energy from the sun, okay? By the process of photosynthesis that I have taught you. If you don't understand photosynthesis, please go and check my previous video. Okay. So, producer are those who produce. So, plant are the producer because they produce the food for us. All living organisms need energy for the survival. The ultimate source of energy is the solar energy, right? Only green plant have the ability to use the solar energy. Green plants make their food in the presence of sunlight, water, minerals and carbon dioxide by the process of photosynthesis. Thus, green plants are called producer or autotrophs, right? Green plants are also known as autotrophs. Okay, understood? Now, now the next are consumer. Now, what are consumer? Living organisms that cannot make their own food but consume either plant or other animals are called consumer or heterotrophs. Now, producers are also known as autotrophs because they, they produce their own food right and consumers are known as heterotroph because they depend on the autotroph for their food 
Now all animals are consumer. They are further divided into three categories: herbivore, carnivore, and omnivores. Now herbivore, as the name suggests, herb. Herb are like plant, part of plant, type of plant. So herbivores are those who consume plant. Animals that eat green plants are called herbivores or primary consumer. Example: deer, horse, elephant. They are all herbivores. Now second one is carnivores. Now carnivores are the animals that eat other living uh, animals. right living or dead animals are called carnivores they are also known as secondary consumer herbivores are the primary consumer and carnivores are the secondary consumers right for example uh, tiger lion leopard they are all carnivores right now third one is omnivores what are omnivores now uh, some animals eat both plant and other animals are called omnivores means they are veg and non veg both for example human being cockroach crow and bear right so some carnivores also feed in like they feed dead animals who are not alive are called scavengers okay example hyena vulture and jackal understood about consumer now the third one is decomposer now what are decomposer they are the creatures or organism that break down organic matter such as dead animals and plant material some commonly known decomposers are bacteria fungi and worms now in addition to producer and consumer there are some microscopic organism that feed on dead bodies of other animals or decaying organic matter they are called decomposer now for example certain bacteria and fungi are the example of decomposer decomp what do they do they break down the complex organic matter present in the remains of dead plant and animal into simple substances they are useful in releasing nutrient from dead and decaying organism back into the environment these nutrients are reused by plant thus decomposer help in the recycling of nutrient decomposer are also called natural scavenger okay so they are nature's uh, recycler also they are also called nature because they are recycling and they are also called nature's scavenger okay understood i hope it this much is clear to you now i'll be continuing this video and i'll be explaining you food chain food web and abiotic factor in my coming videos okay so do connect it thank you so much